I got hands on got in jail. It is really getting windy out here this afternoon. In fact, it's a day like today that if you're out in an RV, you're glad you're in a fifth wheel and not a motorhome or a travel trailer. Okay, we're going to try to explain a few things or just review a few things we learned in seventh grade science, and it has to do with levers. You know, Archimedes said, give me a lever long enough and I can move the earth. And what he was talking about is, see this two by four, it looks like an old seesaw when we were a kid, right? The force down here equals the force up there. But if I change the arm on this lever, lengthen this one, shorten that one, I get a mechanical advantage. And the mechanical advantage is this force is multiplied times the, a proportional distance compared to the force that goes down here on this short distance. So the multiplier then works like a big crowbar and we're able to use, move big heavy forces with a short segment there, long segment here. Let's see how this compares to tow vehicles. If we were, let's say, hauling a travel trailer, all recreation vehicles have dynamics going down the highway. They never want to go straight because of crowns in the road, crosswinds, passing trucks. And on a travel trailer, all those forces go right here where the hitch ball would be. This is just about four feet from the bumper to the center of the axle. And the axle works just like the sawhorse. It's a fulcrum for a lever. All the forces, therefore, back there are multiplied times the distance from the bumper to the axle. The forces go through the frame of the tow vehicle into the front steering. And on a nice calm day on an interstate highway, no problem. With a travel trader on crosswinds and so on, it can be Katie bar the door. It has nothing to do with your years of experience or driving. Same problem with motorhomes. Part of the forces of the crosswinds, crowns of the road, passing trucks are transferred to the front steering as well as to the rear of the axle, rear axle of the vehicle. Now in a fifth wheel, everything I just said is not true. All of the forces that are exerted by the recreation vehicle going down the highway go right over the rear axle. They're locked right here and there is no lever to transfer them to your front steering. So on a windy day like today, we can take our hand off the steering wheel and the only crosswind forces the truck will feel is what it would normally feel without the fifth wheel.